And um, you're familiar, you already saw some, of, you've shown us some of the videos that were uh, taken from the ring doorbell across the street from 1 Jefferson, correct? Yes, correct. And this is one for the record. Um, it's marked as video three on this exhibit, but the time you'll note in the bottom right-hand corner is uh, May 24th, 2019 at 721 and nine seconds in the, in the morning. You see that there? Yes. All right, so we're gonna play that, please. Could you pause it for a second? Now, um, we're pausing it at... Um, 721 and... Well, we'll just say at, at second 20 to the left there on the orange uh, line there. Um, I'll first note, this was a, you'll recall, May 24th was a Friday, correct? Correct. And um, we see that the garbage pails are out in front of both 1 Jefferson and at 4 Jefferson Crossing, right? Correct. So by this time, you were aware that garbage pickup day was Friday in this part of Farmington, right? Correct. Okay. I'll call your attention to the vehicle that is now pulling in across the street. You see that, right? I do. And um, you determined that that vehicle belonged to Kent Winnie. Is that right? I didn't determine that. None of, nobody in your department determined that that was Kent Mawinney's SUV pulling Well, it's in? consistent with Kent Mawinney's SUV, yes. Okay. But definitively. It was not consistent with a Ford Raptor, was it? No. It was not consistent with a uh, Chevy Suburban that was owned by the Ford Group, right? Correct. And it was not consistent with a rental um, Yukon, right? No. Okay. But... The Yukon wasn't rented at the. That's that's I'm just, of course, but I'm just pointing out that it was not one of the four group or Dulos vehicles. Yes, correct. Okay, Can you play the rest of it, please. Okay, and I'm going to show you one other um, video. This was a, uh, Mr. Kona said that she came back to her house after dropping off her daughter from, to, to school, correct? Correct. To school. All right, so now we're at, pause for a second, and we're now at, um, for the record, May 24th at 8.01 and 54 seconds. Same date. Can you pause it, please? Um, the vehicle that we're pulling in at now at the, the exhibit is at 45 seconds, if we're looking at the line from the left there. Is that the vehicle that's consistent with the white Cherokee that's one of the four group vehicles? It is, yes. Okay. And pause again for a second. Now, there's a pickup truck driving by. That pickup truck that's caught in this uh, particular image is not related in any way, to your knowledge, 
to either the case or to the Dulos uh, home, correct? That's correct. Okay. correct. So it's a truck driving by? Yes. Okay. okay. Now, also just before the break, I asked you whether or not um, you had indicated as part of your uh, affidavit regarding the arrest of Michelle Traconis in September for uh, the car wash, uh, the washing of the Tacoma, whether uh, you mentioned in that warrant that Michelle had said words to the effect of, well, obviously, when asked by you why she thought Dulos would be washing the Tacoma, her reply was, uh, well, obviously, all the evidence says because you showed me the picture of the blood in the door, it's because the body of Jennifer at some point was in there, unquote. Do you remember? Yes. That being your language? Yes. No, okay. Yeah. Do you need, I found this. Do you need to see it now? No. You know that's what it says, right? Yes. Okay. So uh, let me just be, be clear. There was never any, any scientific um, laborat laboratory analysis that determined that there was any blood on the door of the Tacoma, correct? My understanding is that there was the presence of blood, but the DNA profile did not was not developed. So, so we don't know whose blood it was. So you're, you're, you're let me let me get this straight. Again, I'm not a scientist. Are you sure that based on what you're saying is that in fact the lab did not test nor find any blood on the door of the Tacoma when it's tested by the state lab? I am I am not sure. To be fair. You did not write in. A, you did not write in any report that blood was found on the door of the Tacoma, did you? No, I did not. Now, with regard to the with regard to what you had indicated to uh, Michelle regarding uh, the findings of the laboratory personnel down at, from what was recovered at Wells Lane in New Canaan, by now you had much of the DNA analysis by August, correct? Correct. And you were also aware that the only place that there was the uh, location of any mixture of blood that contained any D D um, let me withdraw that question and ask it a different way. You were aware that by August 13th that there was a mixture of DNA found on a faucet that may have included Fotis Dulos with another person, correct? Yes. And the other person was believed to be Jennifer Dulos's DNA found on that same faucet, correct? Yes. But you never were able to determine how the DNA got on that faucet, correct? No, I don't determine how it gets on. I just, just that read it the labors that it, that it was present. That it was present. Okay. But by now, you also had spoken to the uh, the individual who was the uh, supervised visitation custodian, correct? Dennis Puebla or Sydney Streeter. Sydney Streeter, right? Yes. And you knew that the that the Mr. Dulos had had a picnic, sort of you want to call it a picnic, had dinner at the house, correct? Yes. And that, in fact, he had interacted with his wife on the 22nd, right? Yes. And he had interacted and played with the children, right? Yes. 